What's up guys? Today we will take a look at how to run Stable Diffusion Infinity on RunPod. Let's go! So first let's take a look at the GitHub page and check what we need to do to get started. Uh, if you scroll down you will see a short intro video and links to Google Colab, Hugging Face and how to set it up locally. But since we want to use RunPod we need to set it up manually on Linux. So in the get started section, we will click on the setup guide for Linux link. And at the very top, the setup section, we will see a git command, which is the only one we need to run. And that's exactly what we're gonna do now. But first we need to set up our machine on RunPod. So we head over to runpod.io and click on login or sign up if you don't have an account yet. but click on community cloud and pick a gpu you want now i've tried the 3070 setup and got an error when generating an image so you might want to avoid that and choose a 3080 at least so set up the disk space and pick the runpod stable diffusion template Click on Deploy on Demand and wait for the installation to finish. So if you click on Connect and connect via HTTP, you can use the uh, Stable Diffusion version from Automatic. But since we want to run Stable Diffusion Infinity, we need to go somewhere else. So we go to Jupyter Lab, and there we have the backend and the file structure of the server. So in the workspace folder, we click on terminal and we copy paste the first command that we need to enter, like so and the installation should be finished pretty quickly so next we close the terminal and go into the infinity folder and open another terminal and there we can start the app by typing in python app.py dash dash share and enter And there we have our Gradio link that we can copy and paste in another tab and start the interface. So that is how it looks. And the next thing that we need is enter our Hugging Face token to download the model. So we need to head over to Hugging Face And if you don't have a token yet, you can go down and click on new token. Just enter a name for the project you want to, like infinity. And the row is right, create a token. Then you copy the token and paste it right in. Choose a model, whichever you want. Set the canvas size, I will choose here 2000 and height will be 1000 and set up. When we switch over to the terminal, we can see what the progress of the installation is. So it might take a minute. And as soon as it's done, we can head back to our UI and there is our canvas. And right below we have this control button. So with this one, you can control the selection box, which is the area that generates the image. Uh, the second button is to move around the whole canvas. 
And the third one is the eraser, where you can erase parts of the image to generate it. So here you can just enter your prompt to generate uh, the image you want. Let's go with cute anime puppy and see what we get. Click on all paint. Okay, not quite anime, but it's a puppy. Um, so you might want to uh, check the box enable safety checker or you, wet, you will get a black box sometimes if the content is considered not safe for work. Here you can set the steps, um, play around with the values, whichever fits you best. Down there we have the init modes that determine how the empty area is going to be filled and usually the patch match mode is the best one that's what the github says but yeah you can try around and see what's what results you get so let's try something else here anime cat maybe let's see Not really. <laughs> so playing around with all this stuff is, um, I never had any overwhelming results. So maybe you have better luck. So don't expect too much, but it's worth checking out. I mean, the it's n not going to be as great as uh, Dali 2 maybe, but um, yeah. So it works. Um, the only feature that is missing is the photometric correction because you would need to install something else for that but I didn't quite get it to work. So that's missing but still it's working in its base features. And don't forget to save the image with the export button. If at some point you might want to um, change the canvas size, you can just refresh the page and you don't need to uh, reload the hugging face token again because the model is already loaded. So you can just click on setup and it will reload the page with the new settings. At the very bottom, you can also find the upload image section where you can just drag and drop an image and use it for outpainting in the canvas. So these are the basic features that this app has and I hope you have fun playing around with it. Uh, if this video helped you in any way, consider signing up uh, to RunPod with the link below and also leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more AI related videos. Cheers!